Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a new product preview this evening. I do have one hobby box here of 2021 Panini Prism Baseball. Now this product did release this past Friday, however, did just get this box and another arrive here at Titan today. So I'm very excited to go ahead and check this new baseball product on out for you all. Show it off and see what we can find. Now like other Panini Prism products, there are 12 packs per box with 12 cards per pack as well. Three autographs are what we're searching for here in Prism Baseball. And also there's a new Lava Flow, I'm assuming insert since it doesn't say Lava Flow Prism. And I didn't see anything about lava here on the back. Now, on the back of the box here, it of course describes all the different types of prisms you can find in here. And one that I'd like to find that I don't think I've ever seen before. Like we've seen tiger stripes, we've seen zebra stripes, but there's a prism called giraffe prism. So that's what I'd really like to find here. If I had to guess, a nice yellow and brown parallel, maybe with like giraffe spots, but I've never seen a giraffe prism before, so that'd be a pretty interesting find if I do say so myself. Now we should be unwrapping 15 prisms per box, including an average of three silvers, but if we get a hot box, we'd get 24 blue, what's it called? Navy Blue Carolina Prism Blue Parallels. So that would be pretty exciting as well. As I mentioned, did just have two boxes arrive today, so... We'll see. I mean, we could, of course, get a hot box. Last Wednesday opened up just the first box of Ginter that I pulled, and we did find a hot box of that. So maybe I'll have some luck again here with Prism Baseball. But I'm excited to go ahead and jump on into it, so let's do so by snapping us into the corner. All right, let's get started. Panini Prism Baseball. Like I said, look for the new Ultra Rare Lava Flow. Three autographs per box on average. 12 cards per pack. 12 packs per box. There's Aaron Judge here for our display person on the box. And there's a no purchase necessary, so the NPN information says see pack for details. So I'll go ahead and zoom in on a pack uh, once we get this opened on up. But yes, Prism Baseball. Last year, I remember, I actually got to open up a first off the line box. Boss Man was able to get one online. And then it arrived damaged, so he didn't want to sell it. So last year, check that out. It was pretty cool. Saw that Shimmer Prism. We'll see what we can find. Like I said, never seen a Giraffe Prism before. The existence of it perplexes me. And I'd love to see what that looks like. All right, like I said, would we'll zoom in on the NPN information. All right, it's down here. So let's jump on into it. Hello there, Niv. All right, so if you guys want to go ahead and take a screenshot of that or just pause the video. And then, of course, Canadian residents, don't forget to go ahead and answer that question as well. And you can't live in Quebec. So U.S. and Canada, except for Quebec, there's that information. If you guys want to go back, like I said, take a screenshot or pause. And we're all zoomed in there. But all right, got my sleeves, got my top loaders. Here we go, pack number one. See if we find a hot box here for Prism Baseball. Hopefully just find some really nice looking cards. And all right, starting off with an Andrew Vaughn rookie. So I will set the rookies in their own little pile. Might be a large pile, seeing as we're finding a lot of rookies here in pack one, Bobby Dalbeck. Do like the design. Of course, this is the same design we've seen throughout this year with like Prism Basketball and whatnot. Do like the design. Do have a fearless insert, Casey Mize rookie insert. There's a base card back here. So that's number 240. So that is a, I'm assuming, tier three. Yes, does say there, Lance Lynn, tier three base. Yes, Sammy Sosa. Looks like a blue mojo prism. That is number 101 out of 199. Mike Soroka, red prism. And there's an unnumbered red prism, tier two, number 174. And championship stage insert Mookie Bats. All right, let's sleeve up our prisms here. So the blue mojo is numbered, whereas the red is not. So we'll have a numbered and unnumbered prism pile. We'll check these base cards as well, I'm assuming. Also, they are mixed in. They are mixed in. So actually, let's see. All these rookies, oh, the Cody Whitley was a tier two. You know, actually, not going to, I'll keep the tier three off to the side and I will check the back of the packs, but I won't set aside tier one and tier two. Uh, since they're actually both the same size. 1 through 100, I'm assuming, is tier 1. 101 through 200, tier 2. And 201 through 250 being tier 3. As tiers 1 and 2 each have 100 cards, and tier 3 does have 50 cards. So since that Lance was separate, I'll keep him separate as well. But keep the tier 1, tier 2 mix. All right. Here we go. Pack number 2. Not a hot box also, just because we only have those two prisms there in that pack. So I can only open up so many hot boxes. I thought maybe luck would be on our side today, but hey, it's all right. Hopefully we still see some really nice cards. 
You have Cal Ripken Old School. That's cool. Old School inserts. I like the, the squiggly border there. We also have a Jake Cronenworth as a Tier 3 rookie, so that's pretty cool. First autograph looks like a Cabrian Hayes here. Now that's nice. Hello. Rookie autograph, which is a base, but definitely a nice name here, Cabrian Hayes. We have an Aquino Silver as a Tier 3 Silver. And Stargazing, Shane Bieber. like the design here for the Stargazing inserts this year. I like it with the big bright stars. Let's go ahead and get these sleeved on up. Very nice first auto of three of the box with that Cabrian Hayes. Did have another tier three in the pack as well. So I'm assuming that may be one per pack. With the Cronenworth rookie. And let's sleeve on up that Hayes. Alrighty. Good start here. Good start. We have a Schmidt rookie, Evan White, Sam Huff, Mike Trout base. It's actually a tier two Mike Trout. Fearless insert, Fernando Tatis Jr., Jake Flaherty, tier three. Blue prism, Nolan Arenado. It's a solid blue that is unnumbered. And lumber ink, Freddie Freeman. I do like the lumber ink. Remember actually a few years ago, it was before we had the channel here at Titan. It was a Panini product called Leather and Lumber. I actually enjoyed opening that on up. Had a lot of really cool die cut inserts. Lots of really cool relics too. Like to see if perhaps that ever has a full set return or if it'll just get permanently stuck in Chronicles. Prism though does have a ton of inserts, so I will continue to fill the screen with all the slots required for them all. Might have to combo up that rookie and non-rookie tier three uh, little arrangement down here if we need more room for inserts. Jemai Jones, rookie. We do have Illumination, Miguel Cabrera. I feel like that would look really sweet in Prism Parallels. We have another Cabrera here. That should be tier three base. That's number 250. Blue Wave Prism rookie, Jake Woodford. For St. Louis, that's number 52 of 60. And Garrett Cole, Red Prism. That is unnumbered. We also have a Slugger's insert, Mike Trout. All right, so again, an unnumbered and a numbered Prism in this pack. And let's continue. Gonzalez rookie, Garcia rookie, Urias rookie, Basabe rookie, lots of rookies here in the front. We have Illumination, Trevor Bauer, Anthony Rendon, Tier 3 Bakes. We have 39 of 75, Patino. That is a Red Wave rookie autograph prism. Cool looking signature as well for the Rays, local team. Nice find. Tucker Davidson Silver is a rookie silver for the Braves. And rookie class insert, Tristan McKenzie. Another new insert here in this box. Not necessarily new in terms of prism, but for our piles, new pile. All right, so base Cabrian Hayes Auto and a Red Wave Patino. Two autos in this box so far. One more to find. And like I said, keep my hopes up for a giraffe prism. I wouldn't necessarily say giraffes are my favorite animal, but I do like giraffes a lot. Actually, up in Tampa, I believe it's called Zoo Tampa now, but Larry Park Zoo is what it always comes to mind as. But you can actually feed the giraffes like crackers. It's pretty cool. Some more rookie cards here. See a fearless insert peeking out. Do we have Matt Schurz or Fearless? Love the lime green in this card. Giolito should be tier three. Yep, tier three there. Will Crow. That is a blue prism. Unnumbered blue prism and emergence insert, Bobby Witt Jr. 
sleeve and up, that will crow. So just one prism in that pack. All right. There are, looks like we are at the halfway point here of the box. Scrub rookie, Marquez rookie, McKinstry rookie. Lots of rookies in this pack. This is a rookie loaded pack. We have Illumination, Kyle Lewis, Casey Mize, tier three rookie. Nice. Clark Schmitz, unfortunately, is a damaged red wave prison. Panini, what are you doing there? 75 of 99 on that damage, Clark Schmidt. So at maximum, 98 others in nice condition exist. This one, unfortunately, as you guys can see right there, some big old dents in that card. We'll still sleeve it up, but that is a little concerning here. Mark McGuire, red prism, unnumbered, and emergence, Nolan Gorman. I am noticing that there appears to be some quality control issues, just in terms of some scratches on the base. I feel like the cards, some of them look miscut, but on the backs, like actually the Slugger's insert to me, looks like it's not, not centered very well, but on the back, it looks fine. Actually, I can see it a little bit on the back, not as bad as I feel it looks on the front, but a little bit off on the back as well. So I have been noticing that, that it's not necessarily Good. I'm not I'm not enjoying that too much. Still liking the design, but that is egregious there. Definitely have to point out that damage Schmidt red wave. One of our few numbered prisms in the box. Very unfortunate that it is damaged. Of course, you'd like nothing to be damaged, but if I had to choose something, I'd just choose a base card. And yes, that is concerning here. Ooh, lime green. Do love the lime green prism cell. Let's see who that is. But we'll note that I am seeing some quality issues. We have Bryce Harper, Fearless, Will Clark, as a tier three, Lime Green on that Ken Griffey Jr. This one looks nicely centered. That is one hundred three out of one twenty-five, and an Aquino Red Prism, tier three again. We had him in silver, now we have him in red. Sluggers, Pete Alonso. All right, let's sleeve up the Aquino and the Ken Griffey Jr. Four packs left here in this preview box of Prism. Kellenic Rookie. Jeffries. Lynch. Patino Rookie. Of course, we did find his auto earlier. Contreras. Old School Rod Carew. Aaron Judge. Tier 3 Base. Mike Yastrzemski Blue Prism. Unnumbered and fireworks insert Paul Goldschmidt. So just one prison to sleeve on up there. All right. Next pack. Gonzalez rookie, Garrett rookie, Hassan Kim rookie, Fearless Lindor. TJ Anto Anton, Anton, not familiar with this name, I must admit. That is a tier three rookie, number 207. And I have a red mojo, Pavin Smith. That is a rookie red mojo. Number 43 out of 149, card number 70. And red, Corey Seeger. That is unnumbered, of course. And rookie class, Kbert Ruiz. I must admit, I find it a bit odd that the prism parallels seem to be upside down, but none of the other cards are. Perhaps just the way they were inserted by machine. They all just ended up facing the wrong direction. All right, second to last pack of the box. Still waiting on one more auto. One more auto. That's cool. Stained glass insert, Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice, Acuna stained glass. Not sure if it's as rare as stained glass inserts in other Prism products, but that's pretty sweet. I'll go ahead and get that sleeved on up. Wasn't expecting to see something like that here. Kestin Huna is a tier three. Ryan Jeffers is an autograph and is a silver Prism rookie auto. Unnumbered silver Prism auto. Nolan Arenado silver and Emergence Wander Franco. So a lot going on here in this pack. Let me sleeve up. All of our prisms, of course, and that stained glass. 
I'm curious. I'll actually check the pack odds on the stained glass. See if I am appropriately excited or not. Not quite sure. Panini Prism Baseball can be a bit different. Remember, actually, Panini Prism NASCAR last year had stained glass as like a base design. I was like, oh my goodness, so many stained glass cards here. But let's see. Do, do, do. A lot of info about prisms on these packs. Not seeing actual pack odds on here, so just a bunch of, or it gives you the numberings, the numberings. So that, that is a lot of just prism. Makes my eyes go cross-eyed here just seeing prism, 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 prism over and over again. And of course, that's the name of the product. Was hoping could find some more info there, but I'll just check the checklist after the video. Well, it could be very fancy there on that Acuna, but the fact that it's just a base stained glass makes me think it's not an SP insert. Of course, it is advertising the lava flows on the top of the box, not stained glass. We'll see. It's still cool, though. Nice name, Acuna, on that insert. All right. Let's see what we have here. Last pack of the box. Already found all three autos. Our last chance for a giraffe prism. Mount Castle rookie. Illumination, Joey Bards. Do we have Kenta Maida? I'm assuming is our tier three. Yep, tier three of the pack. We have a blue prism, old school Ralph Kiner. That is unnumbered. And stargazing, Nolan Arenado. Okay, with that, that does finish off this box here. Let me go ahead and sleeve up, of course, our Kiner prism. Move this out of the way. And straight number piles, and we'll of course get on into our recap. So did have a very decent sized pile of rookie cards here in the box. Looks like it was about 50-50 split in terms of non-rookies and rookies. So that's pretty good pulls for if you're especially if you're just someone who likes to collect all the rookie cards, or even just looking for a couple players in particular. Most plentiful insert was the Fearless, did find multiple of those per box, followed by Illumination. We had singles of the championship stage insert here. We found Mookie Betts. So found just one non-silver stargazing, Nolan Arenado in the last pack. The one fireworks, Paul Goldschmidt. There's one of those inserts as well. And one lumber ink. Did find Freddie Freeman there. Now we did find three emergence. Two sluggers. I do like the sluggers, although as like I mentioned, they do seem to be off off kilter in terms of centering. So not too pleased with that. Illumination, four of those. Two of the old schools. I did like that insert set a lot. And two of the rookie classes. So a couple of double inserts, couple of more plentiful. Five on the fearless, four on the illumination. And then a lot of just one ofs in terms of inserts. So definitely going to be hard with this product to make a master set if that was your goal. Most likely better off buying singles instead of just opening up a bunch of boxes. Although you never know what you could find. It's up to you. Also did find this one stained glass insert of Ronald Acuna Jr. That is stained glass number four. That seems to be pretty cool. Also found two insert prisms, both unnumbered. Shane Bieber stargazing silver in the Ralph Kiner old school blue. Then in this box, the red prisms, the blue prisms, and the silvers, all solid on those red waves, blue waves, blue mojos, things like that. Those are numbered, but in terms of solid colors, these are the unnumbered prisms of this product. Did fine. As the box stated odds-wise, three silvers. We had a Kino, Davidson rookie, and Nolan Arenado. Also had an Arenado blue, a Will Crow rookie blue, and Yastrzemski blue. So three blues as well. We did find five red prisms. Corey Seager, Aquino, McGuire, Soroka, and Garrett Cole. No rookies on those reds. And for our numbered prisms, did find a red mojo rookie, Pavin Smith. That was number two, 149. That lime green, Griffey Jr., to 125. The damaged red wave, Clark Schmidt, rookie, to 99. Jake Woodford, blue wave rookie, to 60. And Sammy Sosa, blue mojo, that was the 199. So that Woodford, I believe, yeah, just double checking, was the lowest numbered card here, number 260. Uh, we also found 
One base auto, one silver unnumbered, and a red wave numbered autograph. Didn't have the base rookie auto, Cabrian Hayes. Also had the silver, Ryan Jeffers. Again, unnumbered silver prism auto. And red wave, rookie auto again, Louis Patino here. That is number 39 of 75. And with that, that actually does it here for this box preview of Prism Baseball. Again, do love all the insert designs. Really actually like that lumber ink with the crossed baseball bats. Stained glass cards are always beautiful, so I love those as well. Uh, wasn't too crazy. Again, like I said, this, not sure if that's, that, that can't be done on purpose, right? That has to be a bit miscut. So I was seeing actually a lot of issues like that. Some of the base cards looking like they're not centered well, top-down centering. I believe I mentioned that with football. Last, I feel like last year's football was had a lot of issues with centering. And this year's baseball wasn't the greatest either. So Panini seems to be struggling a little bit with their centering on products like these. So hopefully they can improve on that. But overall, still like the design, although I don't feel right not mentioning that I did see some scratched base cards. And of course, we did have that one dented uh, numbered prism. So only finding five numbered prisms, you know, not including, of course, that autograph. Five numbered prisms in the box and one of them having massive dent. Uh, I think you can even say two dents. Probably caused by the same incidents. Bought two dents there in that card. That is definitely a bit disappointing. But like I said, gorgeous inserts. I love that we did find a stained glass. I think that was pretty cool. Like I said, not sure if it's an SSP insert. I think not. I think not. Usually they're SSPs in football and basketball. Not sure on baseball. Like I said, NASCAR is just a common base design. So I really don't know how Panini picks and chooses things like that. But it do I do like the way it looks. That's cool there on that Acuna find. A little disappointed that I didn't find a giraffe prism. Although I know I can just go look up what one looks like. But... I wanted to react to one here on camera. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a, a draft prism before. Let me know. Is that new to Prism Baseball 2021 or has Panini made those before? Like I said, I've seen the tiger stripe. I've seen the zebra ones before. Never seen, never seen a giraffe prism. So that was very interesting when I saw that on the box. Was hoping to find one, like I said. Didn't look out that way. But I think it was pretty nice there, especially with that Cabrian Hayes auto. And overall, like I said, did enjoy this product. Just wanted to let you guys know about those little imperfections that I noticed. But go ahead and let me know your thoughts on Prism Baseball in the comment section down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know your thoughts. Do you have a more nuanced opinion than that? Go ahead and drop that down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, which of course I really hope you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, there are no personal breaks scheduled for this evening, so this is just my one and only video of the day. Q is wide open for the rest of this week, though. Tomorrow should be adding this extra box of Prism. Like I said, we only got in two. Should be adding that to the website tomorrow. New Weiss Schwartz sets coming out this, this week. Add that to the website as well. Also, Topps Chrome Baseball, Bowman Sterling, and Pro Debut should still be coming this week, although they'll be here on Friday. Should be able to put up several of those for personal breaks as well. So a lot of baseball this week. Getting back into the swing of things with baseball. I felt like it had been dry for a little bit. Just had the Onyx Vintage. And then we had Ginter, which was nice this past weekend. Now getting a lot more shiny baseball. Topps Chrome and Panini Prism. Both like those releases. But with that, that does it here for this video. Although before I wrap it on up, do of course have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much you all for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it to have 12 Black Label fans and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Soltari, Mark Mardini, MT, Sean F, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have 11 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M, Chicago Infinity, Dragonfire, Dusty Archuleta, Jared Chigeek, Jake Rhino C, Jill Howe, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much to all of our channel members. And of course, all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. Like I said, that was it for me here tonight. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.